The reality is we must be competitive, as Representative Martin just, just said. There is no question that incentives are the first box that is checked by anyone looking at North Carolina. We need these tools. Doesn't it make sense that that kind of incentive would need to be for my kind of county and not the big counties? I think the fact that, that all of these incentives have gone historically to the wealthy counties shows you exactly what this is, which is corporate entitlements. This is welfare for corporations. And it forcing them to say they're coming somewhere because of the but for clause, of course they're not going to say they're not going to uh, take that box off because if they take if they say they didn't come but for, then they don't get the money. So of course they're going to say, well, yeah, yeah, we, we came because of incentives. H how do we know that that's true? It's probably not true. We hear the the sports analogy. This is the game. We got to get in the game. This is a game changer. I mean, I'm a sports fan. That's all great. We hear the military analogy. Well, we can't have. Uh, unilateral disarmament. I don't want to disarm. I want to go out there with a better weapon. And a better weapon is a better tax climate for everybody. So that those 800,000 small businesses in North Carolina can create jobs. So we're not taking from them to give to a few. I believe we can do better than this. So I'm not against jobs and I'm certainly not against the people who are trying to promote this today. And I'm not against my governor. You know, I asked some of the people on my side of the aisle, would, would you be jumping up behind this if, if Governor Purdue were still governor? You know, I, I'm just trying to look at the facts.